and welcome along and welcome back to Home Mokra and Forestry Friday. And yeah, we're back up at our logging camp. We have got our Tatra or the, our sorry, our TLX Phoenix here um, with our brand new logging trailer. This, of course, is I need to remember this is rented. So while uh, while we bought the truck, I think our trailer is a rental, isn't it? Yeah. So that's that's a rented trailer. Uh, we do have uh at least to buy on here so eventually i hope to purchase that um and we've also got our setup here for our fiat agri as well in its forestry configuration our aim for today is going to be to try and uh, start moving our logging up into our tree line a little bit higher we have got well last time we identified a route that we should be able to get it up uh, and, uh, and and get our equipment up. Uh, these four trees here will need to come out. And uh, I think we might need to take this one out as well. And possibly a couple of these. So uh, there's a, a, a good set of trees that we need to remove today. And, uh, and we're going to try and do them in such a way that we can get more trees on our trailer. So this trailer, I think... Let's measure this quickly um right we need to bring this up first so get myself getting myself in the right position there we go ish okay here we'll do so zero up to yeah we can fit eight meter logs on this so uh we're gonna cut our trees twice the length this time and try and get them uh sorted that way so, yeah, we need a flatter root coming straight up here and these four trees out the way. So let's cut these and get them taken out. I'm trying to get these so that they fall in the right direction. That is going to be the trick. Oh, that went really well. Uh, so this one. We want these to fall as far down the mountain as they will go. As long as we also manage to not block the work we're trying to do. See, I need to get it at that sort of angle there. And these I don't think are much longer than 8 meter trees. Uh, let me see. How long is that? Uh, so that's 90. Okay, so we'll get two logs out of that tree. That's good news. Now, this one here, I want to cut at an angle downward here try this see if that falls i oh, know i need to i need a much more extreme angle i think trying to get we're, we're having to cut this uphill and it's not going to fall the way i want it to as a result but we should have enough length on our winch to be able to pull all four of these trees down so we're going to go and give that a try and get them out the way the fun bit is going to be going in and removing the stumps themselves. There we go. So if we position this here, should be able to winch each of these down. It's B to attach the winch, isn't it? Oh, hang on. All right, it depends on, yeah, it depends on where we try and attach it to. So attach it to there. That will do it. And then we will winch that in. Pull that down off the mountain. Actually might be quicker just to drag it, to be honest. Yeah, there we go. Get it off the mountain there. And we can pull it out and down and away. There we go. And then we'll detach our winch. Back it up. And we'll do the same thing again. I might try and attach... Well, I might try and winch one of the higher one ups down first. So this one here. Yeah, and then we should be able to pull the others together. So attach that. I do love this winch. It just works so well. And winch it in. And we should go round that tree there, I think. Oh, no. It's going to go through it. That's fine. And then when these three are lined up together, what we can do 
is get them in a position uh, where we just pull all three of them down together. So uh, we'll attach ourselves on there. This is not the fastest winch though. Ah, uh, my winch has come up against a tree. Right, so attach that. Uh, let's attach to that one, then that one. And we'll see if we can attach to this again. There we go. And see if that will pull off the tree and pull sideways. But kind of doubting it. I'm going to have to get in it at the side and pull it sideways, aren't I? Because that is not coming off that tree. Right, we'll pull the other two down then. And then we'll uh, come at it from the side and then come and pull the other two. It's unfortunate that it basically pulled it straight into that tree. So what I'm going to do is just bring this round to here. We're going to get the winch onto here. Attach that there and hopefully just pull it just the other side of that tree. That's, that's all I need to do. So it's just a little bit of a pull. There we go. Uh, then we'll detach our winch. Uh, check that we are in the right place, which we appear to be. Good. So let go of that. And then we'll go and move our tractor back over the other side where we were before. And hopefully drag this tree down between the four trees we've got here already. And then we can easily cut everything up. So attach our winch. This is, this is just a fantastic piece of kit. It really is. And pull it down. And we need to turn it on. There we go. And yet yeah, that tree now should help us rather than hinder us. As the tree will move around it. And eventually it just slides off the mountain. And then I'll just pull it forwards. Uh, uh, gonna have to get a little bit more control. So winch it again. Yep, and it'll come alongside that one, and then we can cut it into some fairly big chunks. In fact, it's rolled to the other one. That's not too bad. Right, undo our winch. And now we need to strip these trees and then get them cut into eight meter lengths. So out the chainsaw, and we're going to run along. So that should be all of them cleared. And now I want to cut... Uh, some eight meter lengths out of these. So we'll start at this one here. Put our measure on. And yeah, we're going right up to. So just under eight meters will do fairly well. So this one here. Yeah. Or just over in that case. Perfect. So we get two out of that one. We get lined up for the second one. Again, another 8 meter length. Just under or just over. Both of them are not good. Getting getting small movements is, uh, is really quite difficult. You have to sort of skip back and forwards on a regular basis to do it. Right, that's too far. There we go. That chops off the top bit. Next one here is going the other way. So 8 meters here is right there and then another eight meters is around about there and that shortens that right off and then the last one over here so this is only going to give us eight logs off here and hopefully isn't going to overload the fear agri when it is actually transporting these because we're going to find but uh, that will be a bit much if it does. Oh, wow. We're actually going to get three out of this, this one. There we go. Perfect. So now we, uh, we want to get these loaded up and into our trailer. And I think I'm going to turn this around and get it into a better position so that we can actually get access to this. Now, somebody suggested uh, that there is a modification for this that has the tracks at the back yeah and i'm i think it's this one that has it i'm i'm not 100 sure 
but if it does i think certainly during the winter months that is going to be a good way for us to go with this uh with this truck uh, i think we'll get a lot more traction getting up here uh, i think at the moment we're all right uh i i now that we're into march and the ground is a lot uh, a lot better for us we should be okay let's check everything's working yes so we're now going to come into here and uh, i'm going to load these up and we will see how full our trailer is but i think we're probably going to get some more trees on here today and one of my reasons for picking up such a large logging trailer for our truck when we were coming back up here was partly because i wanted to get something that we could fill up over time wouldn't necessarily need to run a whole load of uh trips down to the uh loading area to the the sawmill uh on a regular basis and yeah it just meant that we could load it up grab a whole uh, section of trees and and get on with what we were doing up here uh, and then run it down to the uh to our area to our sawmill and uh and just sort of dump a whole load in there at once maybe even fill the sawmill up in one go um and if we can do that that then these the sawmill processing stuff it means that we can just go back and forth and uh and and fill this up and and not have to worry too much about handling the awful awful roads that we have to handle to uh to get this stuff um or to get our equipment up the mountain and, and down again because it really is such a tough road on this map to the point where i'm kind of looking at uh, rambao and uh, and going hey should we move over there for our logging because that is a gorgeous gorgeous map um that has of course just recently been released and uh, and would probably do us fairly well as a logging setup however i, I keep coming back to the fact that i'm enjoying doing this uh, I'm enjoying this area we're in, uh, trying to figure out how to best work this area because it's quite an extreme logging setup here in that we are we're on a, a, a hillside where there's no easy access to any of these trees. Um, well, there's there's easy access to some of the ones at the bottom, but ideally I want to I want to be getting the ones further up, the larger ones that are, uh, are more mature and further up the mountain so that's what I'm, I'm aiming to try and do at the moment um but we're gonna have to create a road and things to get up there and that i think actually is a great part of this we're developing the area to suit our needs and in doing so we uh, we should make a good logging area for us to work our last log to pick up and just in and grab and uh, yeah, our four trees really have not made that much of a dent in this trailer. I reckon, judging by that, we are looking at somewhere in the region of 16 trees. Uh, certainly well over a dozen will fill this trailer. Um, that is brilliant. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it will be uh, a very, very big drop of logs down to the sawmill to do that. So, uh, we need to go and have a look at where we've been cutting and what we're doing. So, we are going up here. So those trees are all good. I think for the smoothest run up into here, uh, this tree is going to have to go. Uh, this tree is going to have to go and... Yeah, this tree is going to have to go. I am looking forward to the tree marking in that's that's coming with the platinum expansion later in the year. To be able to go right, I want to take that tree and I want to take that tree and I want to take that tree is going to be absolutely brilliant. So I'm I'm very much looking forward to having that kind of choice. Now, do I need to take that one? We're coming up here. Yeah, I think that's still going to be in the way. I mean, that one there, that is also a little bit uh, iffy as to whether we might need to take that one as well. So, cut that. 
I hope it falls the right way because I have cut it at a little bit of an angle. But no, that's down safe. And yeah, I think we're going to need to take this one out as well to give us a nice, easy access to this area. So four more trees down. Uh, we just need to get these cut into a semblance of uh, being cleaned up and uh, and then some lengths. And we've got another four that we can get on our trailer. We're going to get a lot more wood off these. They are uh, over 30 meters, all of them. So at eight meters each, that's, well, that's, that's four logs per tree. Which is a huge amount of wood that we're going to get off here. Uh, we've got a bit of a weird bit here. I think that's because I updated the map and we've had a tree respawn. But yeah, that's uh, that's really quite amazing. Uh, let's... So yeah, this one is 31 meters. So it's not quite going to be uh, four full lengths. But it's going to be close. So let's bring F1 back up so that I can actually see the distance I'm going. And it'd be good if this did it without having to bring the help menu up. That would be useful. So there's one. Uh, there is... Oh, no. Again, close. There we go. Point eight. Uh, just a little bit over. And then this one here. And then the last bit should take me... Yeah. So that's not a very long final pit section. Uh, how big is this log? This log is 31 again. So, yeah, just under three, uh, four full ones. That's at 7.9. We can go a little bit shorter. And again, it doesn't really matter the length we're cutting at other than what's the easiest for us to transport. So... If we can uh, get four good lengths out of these... Uh, then I am happy. And that is for good lengths. The third one was a similar length, uh, whereas this one here is just over. It's going to leave a sort of a short section at the end. Yeah, that goes there. Uh, so that is... Wow. Uh, so that is basically a, another... Well, double what we've already put on that which is brilliant uh means that we can now go through and collect all these up and fill this up a bit this is not bad for 20 to 12 in the afternoon we are looking at having a uh, pretty solid amount of wood today and yeah look at that we've already made a really good path up there so i can start to mark that out now and we can start to look at how we're going to build the road up the mountainside. And maybe even start making a dirt area around the bottom here for us to uh, to start marking out our woodland or our, um, uh, our logging camp area. So here's a surprise. We have got a great demand for the selling of dry boards just come up um which is what we are actually going to be selling in general uh which size is it and this is always the question which is the uh the best one so okay 1750 best price we need to take full advantage of that. So dry boards two are ready to sell. Um, this is going to be a fairly expensive thing to do, but it is going to be worth it. So uh, we are going to leave the logs we've got here because we've got a load to uh, load up and uh, sort. I can only hope that I can afford to get a trailer that we can transport the dry boards to in and also uh something to load them up with because we don't have the jcb down there anymore this is where this starts to get a little bit interesting so we get the phoenix down here and 
get uh, over this way is where we're going to need to be. So I'm going to have to lease the equipment to do this. And I'm going to have to hope I've got enough dry boards to uh, to sell to cover it. We need a... Well, we either need a front loader. The Kubota would, might be quite good. That's only 75,000. But looking at telehandlers... Uh, that is 108. That's 99. Okay, so this is the one we had before. Um, if we get it in this setup here, I think uh, we can go wide tires. It's an extra thousand. So design, low beacon, high beacon, standard. No, Q fit or standard. Main color. Okay, I am going to lease this uh, until we put... Uh, until we purchase it. Um, no, actually, I am. I'm going to go and find a number plate, a name to put on the number plate for this. So picking a name at random from my patrons, my producer uh, level or producer tier patrons, uh, we have uh, Simon Hardy. Congratulations. Your name is going to go on to this. So, uh, okay, that. Let's lease this. And we don't have enough money. This is very, very annoying. So I've got to sell something in order to do this. Let's have a look at what we've got. I think it, the Land Rover isn't worth much, but the trailer might be worth uh, enough money to do this. So let's pop over here. Um, we can put the trailer into the sell point. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to sell something in order to get this and that's slightly annoying but sort of understandable as well uh the trailer on this doesn't work for us so uh, let's repair it yes we paint it yes and sell it uh yes there we go Ten thousand five hundred and fifty-nine. does that give us enough to lease the telehandler, which we can easily cover today. Uh, right. And again, I need to put the number plate back. There we go. So uh, Simon Hardy's number plate is restored. Uh, it is front and back. Uh, let's lease that. 5,100. Yes, we want to lease that. Uh, then we want a... Uh, a no not front loader tool we want a telehandler tool and we're going to grab these again we can get these in the onyx black and lease those yes okay and then finally we need a trailer to put these on this had better all be worth it i'm hoping what have we got we've got low loaders there no oh actually that's twenty-eight thousand for that steel drop deck uh, that would take everything rather nicely. We lease that. That is not going to cost a huge amount to release. Um, no number plate, though. Oh, no, actually, we should select somebody else from here to do this. And uh, the person at random is going to be Galcomp or Galcomp Gamer. So we will okay that and we are going to lease that as well. Yes. Okay. Right. That should do us fairly nicely to get all of our stuff together. We'll turn the landy off and we'll go and load up some of these planks. So the ones we want to get on here are the dry board two. So those are the ones that are currently got a great demand on them now i did sort these a little bit so dry boards three dry boards one dry boards three do we have any dry board twos out dry boards two so that's a dry board two that is a dry board one you must have more than that's a dry board have i only taken dry boards twos to the sell point so far Ah, oh, this may be very costly, but at least we've got this stuff um, and at least we're sort of setting things up. So I'm going to grab these from out from under here. That'll drag those other ones 
Uh, over. And yeah, this is very nicely stable, this telehandler. Now, my truck should be powerful enough to handle several loads of these. So, we're just hoping that lots of dry board twos are now going to be processed out of uh, the shed. I'm actually going to turn off. Well, is there anything processing through here at the moment? Uh, we do have that. So, let's deactivate that. Deactivate that. And see if we can put output as many dry board twos as possible. These on here now are dry board ones, I think. Which I can't tell from here, but I'm fairly sure those are dry board ones. So those ideally want to go on that lot there. Uh, there's a set of dry board threes on top of here. So, right, let me just get these out the way. And make sure everything is where it should be. Because, yeah, those are dry board threes. Oh, all this stacking up to try and make sure everything's in the right place. Now, in order to make everything we've just done worth it, we need at least four pallets of dry board twos. And this is our fourth pallet. Uh, so, thankfully, we've got enough out of here uh, that we can transport them over and try and take advantage of this great demand. Uh, now, we're going to keep trying to load on here while we can if any more Dry Board 2 comes out. And we are only producing Dry Board 2s at the moment. Now, we can strap all these down, which is good news. So, yeah, as long as it's producing dry boards twos at the moment, we will take them over there and take advantage of this. This is going to be a massive influx of cash for us uh, by the looks of things. Uh, certainly going to pay for having had to do sort of a rush setup for all of this. Um, but that's not the end of the world. As I said, if we can get the dry board twos on here and load it up, and delivered, we will be all good. Right, there we go. And on. It's whether our truck will be able to handle getting them up the uh, up the hills. This is going to be a fairly heavy setup. Yeah, it's producing them nice and fast, which is great news. Because that's exactly what we want it to do at the moment. Get these out of here and, um, and yeah, get them sold. Because, wow, this is actually a fairly good windfall uh, of dried boards at the moment. And it's outputting them really fast. So it looks like for now, our number of dry board twos being output by the factory has sort of dwindled and slowed uh we still have boards coming through um but yeah they're not processing very fast uh, and everything that's coming out at the moment is dry boards threes and ones so well we've just finished emptying all the ones out we're now emptying the threes out so i don't think it's going to produce any extra uh dry board twos for a while uh, there's a fair amount to extract well we've got 1700 per pallet and we've got seven yeah so we're gonna have a dry board two out soon um yeah we could get one more on here we've got time to to empty all this out and get one more on here i think you can see that in about June, July time, we're, we're going to have an incredible windfall of money. We've got so many uh, dry board one and dry board three sitting here waiting to be sold uh, that they're going to make quite a bit of cash. I think we are fairly close yeah in fact we've only got a little bit more and then we will get one more load of dry board twos out and there they are dropping and we can just collect these up and get them onto our trailer and then go and sell this and uh get a hell of a price for it 
1,700 per thousand liters. And we have, I thought these were 1,000 liter boxes. They're not. They're 1,700 liter boxes. So, yeah, this is a lot of dried boards that we've got on here. Strap them all down. Uh, nope, not one on the back. We'll turn this off. I'm just going to reset my production quickly. So we'll activate that and activate that. But looks like we've run out of materials on all of our others. So, yeah. Let's uh, just double check that we still have our great demand on for dry boards too. We do 1,765. That is not that nice. Oh, actually, no, that really isn't. Ah. Oh. Just going to correct that and then we'll be off. That's fixed it. There we go. Right. Strap that down. Still not overly straight, but it's good enough for us to get going because we don't want to miss this great demand. Right. Let's get this show on the road. The real test for this truck is going to come when we head up the hillside here. I want to keep as much momentum going up here as possible. Probably going to have to switch down a couple of gears. But look at that. That's so much quicker than we've had previously trying to get this stuff. And yeah, now we're slowing down. But as we flatten out a bit, it took forever to get up there before with our landy so i'm just pleased to see that this is making it up here at more than like three miles an hour which makes a credible difference to us and on the tarmac this is yeah running so so much better how is it gonna fare though when we have more weight on the back of this because we've got a fair amount of weight that we're looking at in the future for getting the, well, the other planks across. Are we going to have to do several journeys or are we going to get away with me doing maybe one or two? Wow, look at that. Down the gear. See if we can get a better bit of pull. And yeah, there we go. That's given us a couple of extra miles an hour, I think amazing on this map you have to climb and climb and climb to get over the top uh the the two cell points are right down the bottom uh, in opposite corners of the map with no no easy route between them to be honest it's yeah it's it's a climb all the way up to then go back down to the cell point on this side or it's a um or you have to go across lots of rough terrain and even then it's just a really steep climb i think what we'll do is we'll continue on here for a few more videos and um well i ask you guys because it's such a struggle to uh to get around here i think we might look at seeing if there's something that's a little bit best better suited to our equipment uh, and Rembo is is definitely a contender for that. Now, do I want to go straight on or turn? I want to turn. Otherwise, I'm going nowhere. And look at that. Even more uphill. And now it's all downhill the whole way to the cell point. So, yeah. You struggle up and up and up and over. And we're down the bottom all the way over the top down the steep hill and yeah what a long trek this is but eventually we get to our destination let's not take this corner too fast and over here is the cell point this is about as far removed from uh where we started with this load as it could have been it is just such a long trip around. There we go, though. That is our destination in there. Reverse this up. 
and see how much money we make. So we've not got the, the roadway done today, but I think far more important is for us to sell these. We'll just check that this hasn't been for naught. Nope, we are still at 1,000... Uh, 1,770? Yeah. So this is going to be a very good payday still for us. Uh, well worth all the trouble we've gone to. Uh, if we can get in here. Because this is not the easiest of places. There we go. A little bit straighter. Back it up again. And into the sell point. And our stuff starts to sell. That is the first lot. 15,050. And that's not even all of it. That is a huge amount. Can I get the rest of it in here, though? All right, let's push the back of this round. See if we can actually get this onto the sell point. Yeah, there we go. Rest of that selling. And there it goes. Another 6,000. We're up to 24,952. Uh, that is fantastic. That is uh, that is a good 21,000 off of that. Uh, well worth all that pain. Um, but now I've got to get the truck back. Um, but this is a good place for me to leave you guys. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.